street segments on Chicago Tonight are made possible in part by the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation and the Lloyd A. Fry Foundation. One of the first photo exhibits of September 11th was held at the Museum of the City of New York just a few months later. A newly transplanted Chicagoan was one of the photographers who contributed. He's living in Chicago again, and now he's having his first ever solo photo exhibition of what he saw that morning. On the Art Beat, here's Eddie Arusa. On September 11th, uh, 2001, I was in New York City living in Chinatown on Mott Street, only about a mile and a half from the World Trade Center. I was uh, walking to a client on Wall Street. I'm a technology consultant, and en route, I came upon a group of people all standing and staring, pointing up. First, I thought it was a car accident until I noticed that they were looking toward the sky. Well, at that point, I thought it was an accident like everyone else, so I ran home to get a camera from my neighbor. Uh, ran, running back to the spot, I went, began filming, and within 15 minutes, the second plane struck. And at that point, everyone knew it was serious and that we were under attack. Then the towers fell. I returned home. Uh, kind of broken, and then pulled myself together and went back out and continued filming on rollerblades. Rodney Jean-Baptiste began a six and a half hour journey that day in Chinatown. Alone, he raced to get closer to ground zero. Along the way, he stopped to document what he saw, often pointing his camera at other eyewitnesses. It really brought out something that we've never seen in other individuals. And I, to this day, don't know why I turned my camera to them so often as opposed to the other events going around. But to me, it seemed to signify exactly what that day meant to us. This picture to me really symbolizes more than anything uh, what was going on that day. Uh, for me, it was taking a camera and running around and shooting. And for this guy, it was very similar in that you see he's holding a Polaroid camera. But like so many of us, just stopped to pause in awe at what was really occurring. Then I actually rollerbladed along the FDR drive, which was empty at the time, other than a few emergency vehicles, all the way down to Battery Park, through Battery Park, up the west side of Manhattan to Ground Zero. The exhibit maps his path from start to finish. The pictures he took are displayed in chronological order. In all, Jean-Baptiste took 160 photos documenting the horror and surrealism of that day. I was continuing to rollerblade down the FDR on the east side of Manhattan heading toward Battery Park when I heard a tremendous roar and saw a cloud of dust heading toward me. I leaned to the left, snapped this picture, and it was developed later and showed me this. And it seems to me it must have been one of the undercover cars that are parked under the World Trade Center because of the amount of debris that was coming off of that car as it sped by. It had to have been going at least 100 miles an hour and heading I don't know where. As he moved closer to ground zero, he saw exhausted rescue workers and police officers. Well, it was very odd. Because I was on a rollerblades, the officers weren't able to really stop me from continuing on. They more or less looked at me in surprise, and most of them were in shock from the entire events of the day. But when I made it down to ground zero, it actually got so difficult because of the debris that I had to stop rollerblading and was rescued, more or less, by a fireman who pulled me and put me on a tugboat. The events rekindled his interest in photography. Jean-Baptiste has spent years preparing this exhibit, and it's been a therapeutic process. It was incredibly important for me to stay in New York after the events because I felt to desert at that time wouldn't be fair to a city that had tried to give me so much as well. So I there, stayed there until 2003, January, when I finally returned home and began work on the exhibit in earnest. For me, 9-11 is um, very strange because I live with it uh, almost every day in terms of doing the project. And so when you're so close to something of that nature, especially when you're doing an exhibit, it becomes something that is a little surreal. But in my heart, I'll never forget that day. A lot of what I'm trying to do here is remind people that it's more than just a cliche. It's more than three numbers and a slash 911. It really is something that occurred to all of us and that will always have an impact in our lives. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Eddie Arusa. The exhibit is called What I Saw, Unseen Images of September 11th. It's at the Chicago Arts District Exhibition Gallery, and it's up through the end of the month. For details, you can go to our website.